hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new to my channel kindly click the subscribe button down there and um, if you're being a, if you've been a member of this family you're welcome back to my channel my name is Stella I am an education and lifestyle lifestyle youtuber I am new on YouTube and yeah I have been having fun here on YouTube thank you guys for all your support all this while you know it's been amazing thank you guys so let's get right into this video in my last video uh, this video is just a continuation of my last video where I started to talk about how I won an Indian scholarship to an Indian government scholarship that um, saw me through my master's degree in chemistry in India and in that video I stopped at where um, I eventually got a mail inviting me over for an interview which was awesome it was exciting it was an exciting moment for me so yeah I went for the interview in Abuja at the embassy in Abuja and the interview went really well I'm not going to lie to you guys I was so nervous I haven't been invited over for a face-to-face -face interview with regards to my scholarship applications all the um, all like I said in my last video I was applying for lots of other scholarships to go to European countries the most of the scholarship uh, uh, um, opportunities requesting inviting me over for interview were Skype interviews and all that blah blah so I haven't had one-on-one -on -one thing I was super nervous when I got to the interview venue I discovered that I it looked like I was the youngest person there <laughs> I was like oh my goodness these people don't even know I'm a call member and I discovered that a lot of persons there were either um, lecturers or intent like they were way above my level seriously i think i was the only call member there it was awesome at the same time i was super nervous but then i just prayed i kept on praying in my mind god you know why i'm here you brought me here so i know you are going to see me through somehow the interview went on very well i was asked series of questions Basically, the questions that were, I was asked was with regards to why I want to study in India and why I have chosen to study chemistry, what I know about chemistry, how passionate I am about chemistry, my um, information, if I have any um, information so far about India, if I know anyone who is over there, you know, all that sort of question. They're just trying to test my ability in answering questions, my confidence, and if I am really sure that I am going outside Nigeria to study or I'm being pushed by someone so yeah I the interview went well I would say and then shout out to Janet Victor you know why I'm giving you that shout out right at for then I didn't know anyone in Abuja but Janet Victor accommodated me <laughs> thank you babe <laughs> so I would always give shout out to people who were involved in this success story so you know I don't ever forget this little guest just right <laughs> so I went for the interview, it was successful, I returned back to base where I was serving, I continued praying and hoping that it turns out really well. And on this faithful, of course, while I was waiting for the feedback, I also um, was still applying to other scholarships, hoping that whichever one works out, I'm just going to, I just want to leave this country for my masters, that's all I know as soon as I'm done with my national service. Now, on this fateful day in April, I was at work, of course, my prim place of primary assignment, when I got a mail that I am successful in that I am invited over for my visa interview, I think. Oh my goodness. I felt like I couldn't believe it. I'm like, no, I'm not sure yet. I need to check again. I need to read this email again. I checked the attachment. The attachment had my admission letter. It had all the info. Oh my God. Like... <laughs> That day was so awesome. I'm like, no, is this scholarship going to sponsor me in Nigeria? Or like, I'm living, I'm actually living in Nigeria. <laughs> my goodness, I just couldn't believe myself. I couldn't even say it to anyone because I needed to get back to my room and like sit down and digest it that I actually got this scholarship. <laughs> my God, it was a great day for me. It was awesome. It was everything beautiful, you know. I can't ever forget how I felt on that day because it was going to be my first time ever traveling outside Nigeria. My God. <laughs> and to know that I was traveling outside Nigeria for something that I really wanted to fulfill destiny and to make myself happy, it was sure a great moment for me. 
I called my mom immediately. I called my dad. I called my siblings. This is what is going on right now. Everyone was super excited for me that I'm leaving Nigeria. My dad was like, I can't believe this. I don't even like, I didn't know that. Yes, I know that people go abroad to study, but my own daughter going abroad to study. I didn't see that coming really. <laughs> Because none of them knew I was applying. They only got to know when I was invited over for the interview. You know, it was a very wonderful moment for myself and my family. So yeah, preparations began to kick off for going outside Nigeria for studies, getting my documents ready and all that blah blah, traveling to and fro Abuja, putting things together and all that. Abdu was very helpful, letting me know things that I need to come over with. And yeah, that was how it all went. And I later got to discover that I was actually the only female who got that scholarship that year. It was awesome. It was amazing getting to know that out of all the numerous applications, I was picked out. You know, it was beautiful. There were other ladies who were who also were qualified, but I was the one who was chosen. And I consider that the grace of God. So yeah, and um, that was it. I had to make preparations and did it that, did it that. Before I knew it, it was June. I had to fly out of Nigeria. Ah, I can't forget that day. The day I had, like, I was just sleeping on Sunday, and to know that tomorrow I'm leaving Nigeria, <laughs> it was an emotional moment for me. I cried and cried. My crying was not that I don't want to go, but oh my God, I'm going to miss my family. <laughs> did I even make this decision? Like, how did I even come up with this decision to go? But yeah, I had to leave. I had to leave, you know. So we went through Dubai. Well, it was a beautiful experience. In fact, the moment I got to Dubai, I forgot about Nigeria. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dubai is such a beautiful country. My goodness. <laughs> you know, it's such a beautiful city. Sorry. When I got to Dubai, and it was just at the airport, you know. The beautiful things I saw, the eight hours I spent there was so nice. And I went with uh, a colleague who also got the scholarship, Johnson. Shout out to you, Johnson. Johnson who became my brother in uh, India. <laughs> my only brother, because it was just the two of us in my university, two of us Nigerians. So I went through Dubai, and then after eight hours, we set out for our connecting flight to India. On my arrival in India, all the blah blah happened, and you know, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful experience getting to study in an Asian country with all the differences in food, the the culture, the 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 manner of talking, like accent, tonation, and everything. You know, it was frustrating at the beginning, but somehow we got through it all, and we started having fun. I started having fun. I started enjoying myself over there, not minding that family wasn't with me. So I'm going to, I think that's it. That was how I won the Indian government scholarship. I will forever remain grateful to the Indian government for giving me that opportunity. They could have chosen not to, but they did. And I am glad that I really, really made good use of that opportunity to get a master's degree for free. Mind you, it was a full scholarship. I got my school fees all paid for. I don't even know how much my school fee was until when I graduated. Everything was all funded for. I had living allowance being paid for. I had my accommodation being paid for. Everything I wanted was being paid for. The money may not have been in millions, but they were quite enough for me to just survive as a student in India. So I got my master's degree free of charge. <laughs> yes, free of charge, sponsored by the Indian government. And I will forever remain grateful to them. So as far as I'm concerned, Whoever is interested in getting to know more about this scholarship, this, my YouTube channel, is an opportunity for me to tell you more about how I got that scholarship opportunity and also tell you more about other opportunities that are available for you to do even better, to go to even bigger countries, more developed countries and all that. So guys, that's it basically. Um, the moral from this um, video is that really there's nothing you cannot achieve. It's just about staying true to yourself and being patient and always praying to God. If you're a Christian, you pray to God for, for grace to locate you because um, there are so many of us who applied, but I was just among those who were chosen um, for reasons best known to the Almighty. So I think it is grace that found me so always pray for grace to locate you once grace locates you every other thing falls in place and even if you're not a christian if you believe in luck you pray 
that luck finds you the very moment luck finds you then every other thing is on your court to play right so that's it basically if i could actually travel outside nigeria to do a master's degree i think that everybody can because i i don't come from the richest of families but then i had that opportunity to go study outside nigeria so you too can right <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in that's basically it this is where i'm going to end this video about how i studied in india will be a totally different um story on its own how um studying in india went for me and um, how getting a master's degree in chemistry in india how easy or or, or tough it is and uh, the 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 challenges and also the beautiful things about having to study in india especially chemistry and or in fact every other course and um, my advice to anyone who wants to go and study in india that will be a totally different series on its own so guys i'm going to end this video here i think it's getting too long thank you guys for tuning in once again thank you for following up from the first part to this till this um last part of the video and i hope you enjoyed my story and not just enjoying the story i hope you learned a thing or two kindly share my videos i honestly wish that my video gets to the right audience because i am bent on um in inspiring others motivating others and of course educating people to get to know what is available for them especially nigerian graduates and undergraduates kindly share my videos to your friends your brothers your sisters or just anyone who may feel that needs to see my videos subscribe to my channel you may click the um the bell right just next to the subscribe button it gives you notification whenever i upload a new content so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video coming very very soon bye give my video a thumbs up like my video and drop your comments i want to read your comments guys bye <laughs>